Hello, it's Sarah, and I'm back. I wanted to do a quick part two. I'm going to try and try and mention some names because I made a cheat sheet of the names. Uh, but Callie had mentioned she loved the door crowns, and there were a couple that I didn't show yesterday that I realized, so I wanted to show those. Um, and I figured I'd... Lolly also said uh, not to mention the ones in my craft room, so I figured I'd just do a part two while I'm thinking of it. Oh my gosh, and as I'm looking around, there are several other things I could show as well. But this door crown is another Rosemary West. I did it Vicky's. It's on a stained background, and it matched our door, so of course I had to put that there. And then this door crown, Matt's doing laundry. Hi, Matt. <laughs> um, this one I love. It's another Rosemary West, and it says, Enter with a happy heart. And it's just some really folk art, um, real old school folk art, angels, tulips, hearts. So that I wanted to share. And then this one is another Rosemary West piece. And it's in my hallway, kind of, sort of. And it's like, it's got a man and a woman, and it's just lots of stuff going on. So I did that. Kirby, you want to go out? You always want to go out. It's kind of dreary today. But she'll go, she'll just look around out there. All right, then in here, I have a couple of door crowns in here. I have this one that I brought from my mom's house. I painted that for her. Um, oh, Kirby's at the door again. Jeez. Seriously, come on. Sorry. All right. <clears throat> and definitely a Judy Day pass or Linda Tula. And it's all about tea. Love it. Super, super cute. My mom's English, so I thought she would like that. And then on above this door, I have a big one. It's one of the bigger ones. And that's just strokes and, like, I don't know what style of flowers they are, but that's a Lynn and Judy piece. That's 01. I want to say Judy. I painted more of Judy's pieces than Lynn's, but they are a team. Distinctive brush strokes. So I love that. And then these are actually called crowns of glory they are arlene newman is her name and i mentioned her yesterday um painted with her in the very beginning in wall township it's about an hour from here and she has books that are called crowns of glory so this is poinsettias and i know the all these things that are in my home are from when I very first painted because that's why they're still here because they decorate my home. Then this is another one of hers. This is just um, pansies and ribbon and tulips. So this is probably a springtime one. So those are the door crowns that I have in here. I actually have a couple in the basement. Um, but let's just stick to this. So this piece is... Sonia Richardson, who I definitely remembered her name, but I've painted a lot of her pieces because she came to chapter about five times, and they were a lot of times they were um, weekends that we did, so it was like two days. Um, so that mirror, and this mirror actually had a little like shelf underneath it, and I don't know what happened to the shelf. It had a little shelf that went with it with a drawer in it, and I never, I don't know, I don't know what happened to it because let me see if there's a date. That's 03. So what, 12 years ago? Um, but so many different techniques. Her work is so different. It's really whimsical and just so different from a lot of, she had her own style and I really loved it. She would do everything with one big brush too. It was so crazy. I bought the brush. Let me see if it's in, yeah, this is it. <clears throat> this is the brush she used. And this one's beat up because I would use it for base coating and stuff. But say look, Sonia Richardson. Um, but she would do all of that, even little tiny stuff. She would just do it with this brush. I don't know how. <laughs> so anyway, um, all right. And then I think I want to bring 
a few things over to my desk so that you can see them better because it's going to be a little shaky. Painted this with Arlene. I know I painted that with Arlene. That, um, I guess it's a canister, but it's like, um, what is it? You know, it's glass. I did that at a convention. And then here's one of Rosemary's um, topiaries. And I'm just going to put that on my desk. I'm going to grab all these topiaries and I'm going to be back. I have, these are Betty Kaith Nest that I wanted to show you guys. See, this is another, um, I'm going to bring them over to my desk. But that's another Sonia Richardson. Sonia Richardson. Um, there's topiaries. One, two, three. More topiaries up there. That's a Sonia Richardson. That's a Sonia Richardson. So I want to show you, and then there's a, um, I'll show you this one. I can just stand right here. This is an angel, just a very whimsical, transparent angel, just done with washes pretty much. But this is Sonia Richardson. And look at inside. It even has like the flowers are on the inside. Amazing. And oops, on the outside, there's just like a little banner or tendrils. So that's another Sonia Richardson. I mean, how does she do it with that big brush? I don't know. She's just very talented. And then I think I'm going to show you this one because I won't bring this over to my desk. But look at this. I love the chicken wire on here. Look at the chicken wire. This is basically like, it's a mixed media piece with paint. You know, like all the layers that she does. Well... I don't know, but I love, I remember painting this chicken wire, how much fun it was to paint that. And it's just kind of, I mean, there's a cat hanging. This is like a potting shed theme. She's got um, terracotta pots up here, a bulb. I know, like, look, there's stuff on the side. Did I sign it? I don't see it. It says herbs. So there's like a, a pot of herbs over there. But look, the chicken wire and then the wood. It's like wood around it. I mean, this is unbelievable, all the work she puts into this stuff. What's on this side? It says seeds, and I did sign it, 04, and just a tray. So I'm going to bring over um, geez, a couple things, sorry, my bad, and I'll be right back. So this is a Sonia Richardson piece. And, I mean, look, it's even painted on the back. Huge. It's a huge plate. Let's see. It goes from here. Um, 18 inches, maybe. 16. This is, I guess, Christmas time. And then it goes around just to winter. A little house. And then it's going to be spring. So there's a couple of starting to be spring and then summer with the 4th of July flag and the watermelon patch and the sunflowers. Look how tiny everything is. Oh my gosh, summer and then fall and here comes Halloween. Look at the little ghost and the cat. Oh my gosh. And Thanksgiving, she put a little turkey there. And then we're back to Christmas. So amazing. So, I mean, these artists are phenomenal. I'll never paint this again. I'll never paint anything like this again, you know. So that's why it has to stay in my home. Like, I'm not, I'm not giving it up, you know. Um, these are some of the topiaries. These are Rosemary West. These are big, so I'm going to stand them up and see if you can kind of, oops, get the, um, how big they are. I'm going to just show you, like, put the camera back here a little bit. So this one's probably, like, I have my ruler here. This is seven inches, and then this one goes all the way to, like, 19 inches so um i guess i'll try to share those the let's see it's hard to tell i don't remember which ones were sets and which ones um 
and actually that's not really a good shot but I mean look at all the detail on every little piece like the bunny is a work in itself this egg is a thing in itself like and then she just keeps stacking all the stuff like that's a, a little candlestick that's a work in itself then there's this little <laughs> those are actually little boxes and then the stand the back is kind of plain but that's not always the case so that's my biggest one my bunny then I love her look it's like my summertime bee skep lady um, look even on the bee skep is a bee and there's so much detail everywhere all the way around that little bee skep look at her face and she has hair her little dress is decorated there's a little birdie on her shoulder that had a hole drilled and a little dowel placed in there. Um, her dress is made of like a little springtime scene with a bunny and tulips and a picket fence and a bird all the way around. And then the bottom again, it's got little strawberries and look at that. It looks like little tulip flowers. So that, how can I give that up? It's so, that was from 03. I signed it on the bottom. By Gary Rapp, Unique Woods. Yep, he used to make these kits for her, for um, Mary's Mary West. And then here's another bunny one. This has a, a little tiny birdhouse with little tiny roses and a bunny. I think I started to do it on this side and I didn't like how it came out or something. I don't know what happened there. I just decided to switch it and put my little bunny on this side. And there's bunnies all the way around this one. And little dip dot flowers. I'm loving like reminiscing these, you know. Um, look how she just dry brushes those checks. You didn't have to, but she did. So that's that one and then this one is my little painter's angel and I love it so much um got my my tripod I mean is up pretty high but I'll hold it up it's a little painter's angel can you see that she's got a palette wand and she's holding a brush in this hand she has like a little lace collar around her neck and a um a wire halo isn't it super cute? And then just the fruit. This is her classic. Um, Rosemary did a lot of fruit, um, but it's all dry brushed and tiny. And then around this it says, um, the painter's angel comes tonight. And then inside it, it says, to keep your lines straight and your colors bright. And there's a little brush. She always did that. This was from 03 too. I was addicted to these. Like, I wanted all of them. I think they're probably... 03. I didn't sign this one. So you gotta sign your stuff, guys. I say it all the time, but I don't always do it. Um, so yeah, that's my Rosemary West. Now I wanted to show you Betty Caithness is another artist that I painted a lot of her stuff. Um, I did the big mirror that I showed in the other room that I said my techniques weren't that great. I had painted it very early on. These are from 02. So, you know, if I started painting in 99, say, I mean, that's three more years of practice under my belt um, by the time I did these. And this is a set of four um, boxes. You can see they're different shapes. And um, this one's fall. But Betty Caithness is another one of those artists that you just knew her work when you saw it. I have a table in the basement that was my mom's that I haven't found a place for. But it's like a total lighthouse scene, like on a cliff with a sailboat and stuff. I mean, it's really elaborate. Um, what else did I do of hers? I know I did. I did other mirrors and I sold them, other framed mirrors. Um, but these are, I haven't really, I don't have a place for these in my home, but... I need to find one. Um, so this is fall. Then there is winter. She did a lot of lighthouses. But look, there's like even 
the reflection in the water there. I don't know if you can see it. Um, and my bushes are just better. They're not as mushy. Um, spring. Look at the rainbow. She has a cool technique for clouds and she always like pulls the like there's blue that you pull down and you would always pull color up into the backgrounds and stuff. And there's a little like garland going around the door. And then this one's summer with the 4th of July flag out and the little sailboat and the bee scups and the sunflowers. So cute. Oh, see how the sunrise or the sunshine is kind of reflecting off the hills? She always did that. That was like a big thing in her techniques. So I have that. And then what else did I want to show you? I think that's about it that I wanted to share in detail. Um, I just really enjoyed reminiscing all my painted pieces and you guys were so so sweet with all your comments but um that's what youtube does it inspires us and when i saw callie doing a share of her cottage and all the things that she's created to put in her home i thought i gotta do it and i've been thinking about it for a while so um i hope you guys liked it this was part two i don't think there's any more parts but <laughs> i could be wrong um and there's still, you know what, I'm going to go away and come back. I just brought over a couple more of the Sonia Richardson pieces. This one's um, a little frame that I did in 05. And I painted a couple of these. These are just the frames that you get at Michael's, um, the wooden frames. And it's a very, look how soft and whimsical. And it's dry brushing and spattering. And I'll bet you she would get into mixed media. Um, she has a flair for that. Like It's like she's already thinking that way with the checks you know, like, it's a lot of different things. It's not like it's just a picture in the way you, you're used to looking at a picture. There's a lot of stuff coming in. Um, I love, I love, 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 and that's Maya. But I love her stuff. And then this is a stool, and I had to share this. This is a, another seminar that I went to. And my tripod's up as high as it goes, but I'm going to just spin this. It's a little stool. And it stands about um, seven inches tall, and it's very thick wood, and it's it's got these legs on it that are kind. It says a circle of friends all the way around. It's kind of like it reminds me of a maypole. So here you have this little bear, and I just look at the uh, fuzziness, and that's I did it no three, but she puts the checks in there. Look at the ladybug. And the snail, oh my gosh, uh, the bunny, the little fairy, so cute. That looks like the fairy that's on my other piece, on my um, stool. It's not a stool, but whatever. Um, Raggedy Ann. And a kitty cat with stripes. So I just had to share those in close up because I mean, so much work goes into this. I just, how am I going to get rid of it? And it totally matches in here. So I just wanted to go over to here real quick. Um, it's a lot more shaky. That's why I figured I would get up. But these are tassels that I made at chapter and I never shared them, but this is the finials again. Um, someone from chapter taught these and it's done with um, just yarn to make the the tassel out of it. So I did that one and then this one. This one has like little rosettes added to the tassel -y part. It's all about the roses all around it and it's just a finial. I'm pretty sure it's one piece with a hole inside and then you make the tassel and pull put your string up through the middle. So that was another one and then we did one more that's like a strawberry this little one. It's just a real small one. And honestly, guys, I don't remember how to even make these, but I did them in a class. It was a kit that we all sat down and did the same thing. You had all your supplies. I think we might have had, no, I think we even, they even included the yarn. It's like chenille, the yarn. So I wanted to share that. And then this few, couple last pieces by um, Lynn and Judy. This was a table. I'm sorry, it's a little stool, 
and this is a Judy Dye Pals piece and I'm pretty sure I painted it at Vicky's. Um, it's from 99. This is another, um, and I think this was considered a door crown. I think it was a door crown pattern, but Vicki did it on a barrel stave, and I painted lots of them. That's actually easy to paint, and I should teach, I should um, do a YouTube video on it because it's so super cute and easy, and you don't need a barrel stave. You can paint it on anything. Um, so there's that one, and then this little basket down here. This is the same pattern. I kicked it, so that's why. Oh. The same pattern that I did um, the mirror that I showed in the previous video with the little bluebird on it. So that's another one of theirs. I mean, I'm telling you, I have painted so many of their pattern. They are wonderful. Their, their directions are so clear and easy to follow, too. That's like another huge thing. This little bunny, I did him at Chapter. There was a bunch of pouncing and dry brushing, and look at the little roses. And then this table. This was just another one of Lynn and Judy's pieces. It's just a bunch of herbs and bees. And I bought this table, I think, at Michael's or AC Moore years ago. Years ago. When? Actually, 07. Well, seven years ago. <laughs> All right. So that's it. I think I shared pretty much everything I wanted to. Um, and I just, I love that. All the comments, you guys. It was wonderful. And, um... Thanks for watching.